Good evening, I'm Keith Cates. And I'm Stacy Scheibel. Thank you for joining us tonight. Breaking news right now. A Clearwater woman arrested after using a cell phone stun gun in a road rage incident. The victims, two high school students. It happened in a parking lot along Gulf to Bay Boulevard near Belcher Road. And News Channel 8's Melanie Michael joins us now live. Mel, police say this put real fear into those teens in the other car. Certainly a scary situation, Stacy. Good evening to you. The details of this case are still coming in, but here's what I can tell you so far. This happened during rush hour right here along busy South Belcher Road, and the woman in question who was arrested, she used a cell phone stun gun that looks exactly like my iPhone. I mean, it's a dead-on, spot-on, a complete similarity, and this is exactly what she used, they tell us. Now, I want to show you her mugshot. Her name is Ashley Hatfield. She's 23 years old, and detectives say that she became so angry in traffic that she went after two teenagers, an 18-year-old high school student and the girl's friend. This woman is accused of, again, being so angry in traffic, following them here to a PDQ parking lot, taking out her cell phone stun gun and pointing it in those students' faces. We're talking about teenage girls sitting in the front seat of their car, and this woman, again, accused of putting her cell phone stun gun in their faces. Now, back here live on South Belcher Road, this, as you know, is a very, very busy area. Area during rush hour traffic. So uh, obviously it's bumper to bumper on many occasions as it is right now. But detectives say there is no excuse for a woman following some teenage girls into a parking lot and becoming so angry that she points this. I'm talking about right in their faces, right at them. I talked to the girl's father and the 18 year old is shaken tonight, very upset and very scared. But this woman was under arrest. She was booked. We are continuing to follow this story and we'll bring you all the latest details as we follow it through the evening on air and online. But Stacy, a scary situation indeed all stemming from a cell phone that was actually a stun gun. All right. Thanks, Mel.